In this video, I'm going to show the new feature data binding images. I have prepared a file with a list of assets preloaded and three artboards. An image artboard that has an image layer, a button artboard that is going to be used as a button, and my main artboard that has the image artboard nested and the buttons loaded as component list. So if I play, here are the buttons that we're going to set up. I also created two view models, my main view model that is connected to the main artboard and my button view model that is connected to the button artboard. On the main view model, I'm going to create a new property of type image, I'm going to name it image. And next, I'm going to go to the image artboard, select the image layer. And on the image selection dropdown, I'm going to select right click data bind and select the image property that I just created. Next, I'm going to go back to the data tab and on the instance of my main view model, I'm going to select one of the available images. So now if I play, the image that is displayed here is the one that was selected on the instance and I can change it dynamically. Next, I'm going to set up the button. So I'm going to select the button, select the layout, add a listener, choose click in this case, and on click, it's going to set the value of the main view model to the value of the button image property from the button view model. This property I had already created and it's also of type image and each one of the instances that I have created for this button are using a different image as the source. On my main view model, my arbor component list is bound to my property list from the main view model and this list has the five buttons loaded to display. So now if I go to main and I play, each one of these buttons on click are going to display a different image. So basically this is the new functionality for data binding images. If you need to export images that are not part of the artboard or traversed on the artboard dependencies, you need to select the assets and on the right inspector, select export to rib so they can be used as data binding. But data binding images also supports loading images at runtime. So next, on the next video, I'm going to show how to load external images as part of data binding images. Next, I'm going to show how to data bind images at runtime. I have created a file that has a load images function that calls fetch on Pixam and loads a random image. It loads a write file, and once a write file is loaded, it gets a view model instance that has been set with autobind. It retrieves a view model image property, and every 1.5 seconds, it's going to load an image, and it's going to set the value of the view model image property to the image that has been loaded. In order to do that, it uses the built-in decode image function that is available on the write package. So now if I play, the image that is displayed here is loaded dynamically, randomly from Pixam. But it also works with the loaded, preloaded images that are on the read file. So every time I click on the buttons, that image gets loaded. And once a new image gets loaded from Pixam, it replaces the one that has been selected. This is a sample code. The API might change in the following days, but this should have a rough idea of how all the runtimes will support data binding images once they are available.